So Alex, it's been the 10 year journey at Place. Yes. Uh, you've obviously been in real estate for a very long time. Yes. So Alex Rutherford, so how many are in your team? So we have um, two other full-time um, parties that assist with the selling and also admin, and then we've got a part-time admin. Yeah, so each account. listing that you're doing has got a fair bit to it. 22 steps. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a great, in essence, you do a lot more than maybe perhaps an agent that's just starting for the seller. So it's all yeah. designed to look after the seller's best interest. When they come on to the Alex Rutherford, they get the best processes. They, there's nothing that's left to, let's say, fall through the cracks. Okay, so you the net is wide, you get into everyone's eyeballs, yeah. which is what everyone wants. Yeah. Because we don't have a specific patch, so we've obviously got to make sure we work every listing to the best of its ability. So one of the things you said to me recently, um, which really is a point of difference, is your presentation style. So if you yeah. can touch on that. So we go into every property and look at it individually. So it's just not, okay, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom, or it's a house, it's a four bedroom, this is what you need to do. I sit down with the owners and really understand like what are their needs and wants? Like, do they have children? What's gonna work for them? What is their budget? And then we work around that. So everything is actually tailored to them. It's specific. Yeah, so really customization familiarity then there's a lot of referral we get a lot of referral clients um, we did the stats and the year before last was a bit higher it's about 50% referred to me 37% last year so we're still getting huge amounts of referrals with the majority of those referrals you'd be the only agent at the table yep. and isn't that a lot less stressful than being up against three agents every time which obviously when we first started we were yeah, sometimes, like I went in one rec to one recently and I had, uh, I was up against nine other agents. A couple of listings that came on in my patch, I wasn't even asked in the door. Yeah. So that that's my biggest fear is like, this is not working, our prospecting, our, you know, our da constantly get, being in touch with people. So it's still a good thing to yeah. get in the door and have an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Um, how are you going with the changing market? Look, it's always one of those things that you have to adapt and it's a mindset. You've just got to quickly go, okay, we're going to pivot. This is where we're at. It's a re-education. You've got to work with your clients really closely. You've got to explain to them what's going to happen. Um, at the end of the day, it is their choice. Some do want to be on board and some don't. And I think that's the beauty um, being the principal of these magnificent agents and Alex being one of them is the experience piece comes into it. Like we've all been through this market before. Yeah. Um, it's not a market to be fearful of. Yeah. Prices haven't plummeted and there's still buyers coming through and, and offering. So yeah. it's about taking control of the conversation. And I think you've yeah. got the scripts and dialogues for that. Yeah, and I think it's that, you know, we do wake up in the morning and go, oh, we've got to make that call. You have to make that call straight up, first thing of the day, mm. get it off the plate, you're not distracted, you move on, you feel better for it. Yep. And at the end of the day, it, it is a bit of that fear of rejection or the uncertainty, but at the end of the day, we also work for the client and they've got to hear it. Yeah, they, they need advice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a way to say something that's um, sensitive to their yeah. needs, but yeah. there's no point fluffing yeah. around in this market. And as I sometimes say, is just pull the band-aid off. Like yeah. you've got to rip it off and then move on. What I've really noticed about you is you do take on the seller's challenges. Emotionally, you are very connected. Like you worry yeah. for them and you yeah. want the best for them. To your detriment, sometimes yeah. you are so involved. But what a nice thing for a, a, a mum or dad yeah. to know that you're totally on their side. Yeah. You actually take it personally to, yeah. to get the ultimate outcome. Yeah, I do. And look, that can be detrimental. Uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, that's me. I can't change that. And yeah. I've, I've always been like that. Because at the end of the day, look, sometimes I take on the underdogs. Sometimes we have properties that are, you know, not kosher or kind of a little bit left field but we still get amazing prices. So that's the joy of real estate. After 22 years, no deal is the same. Yeah. And what I really love is, and it really still gives me goosebumps, is when you get the deal and you know it's gonna make a massive change in their life. Yeah. That for me is uh, the energy. That's what I draw yeah. from and that's what gives me my why. Yeah. Um, and you know, I can make big changes in people's lives that at the end of the day, I know no one else would have. Yeah, that is amazing. Well, yeah. it's a pleasure to work with you, Alex. Well Thank done. You. Good luck tonight. <laughs>